There wouldn't be Thanksgiving without farmers. As families sat down to heavily laden tables, they may not be thinking about the farmers who raised everything on it. Michael Pates talked to some who are grateful for farmers. Fargo people we talk to are thankful for agriculture. My father-in-law farms by Dumont, Minnesota, and my dad is very involved in farming. My husband hopes to someday go back and farm as well. You know, if you look at your Thanksgiving feast on Thanksgiving Day, I don't think there's a thing on your table that a farmer hasn't helped bring to your table for you. I thank them for their hard work. You know, it's a, it's a tough job. It's a probably a demanding job, sun up to sun down, and thank them for making it easy for me. Do you have a particular connection with agriculture? I grew up in a farming family, both both my brother and my dad are farmers. I still think of the different seasons based on the crops and like the smells of harvest and things are, you know, bring back a lot of memories too. Everything that, that we eat is in some way associated with agriculture. We have about 250, 300 uh, head of Black Angus cattle and then we farm about 4,500 acres. A lot of bottle feeding like the calves, getting riding the tractor with the dad, and putting up hay. From planting to harvest, it's, that's the that's, that's what it's all about. It's, it's a lot of fun. I'm thankful for agriculture and, and especially the fact that we have some young producers like you. So thanks very much. Thank you. Back in the rural areas, you know, every business kind of depends on the farming and they're all affected. They work very hard throughout the entire harvest season and all year round. Well, thanks very much for talking to us and you have a new addition to your family so that'll make it uh, even more joyous. He's our youngest one. We have two older ones and He's our last, so we're just enjoying him. For Ag Week, this is Michael Pates in Fargo.